Well, hey everybody, welcome back to another edition here of the Washington Football Maniacs. Uh, I am Greg, and welcome if you're new here. Thank you for joining us. Please consider subscribing to this channel if you're enjoying these videos. And hopefully you have been enjoying these videos because, well, quite frankly, I have not released any videos in the past couple of weeks. I'm going to try to rectify that problem right away. Uh, so in today's video, I want to talk about Jahan Dotson. So we are in the middle of OTAs right now, and things have been going on very exciting in terms of the offense. The offense has just been brilliant from what I have heard, and it's good news because Jahan Dotson has been tearing it up from what I have heard in OTAs. And if we take a look at uh, an article from the Washington Post, we're talking about the commander's rookie, Jahan Dotson. He's a calm and steady and fast presence. I'm not going to read this entire article, obviously, but you know, they're, they're gushing about Jahan Dotson and how that he has been focused, he's been calm. He is just continuing to show the reason why the Washington Commanders have drafted him. Basically, you know, the fact that he has shown that he has got the hands. Now, again, you know, his biggest knock is his size. He's five foot eleven. He's 182 pounds. So he's honestly, he's around my size and, you know, he's not going to be this huge, big wide receiver who's going to be physical against other receivers. And who knows, maybe he will be physical, but he's got the catch radius. You know, we, t we certainly, we talk about these catch phrases that Ron Rivera loves to talk about. And last year, it seemed like it was position flex. This year, it's catch radius. And Jahan Dotson has the catch radius. And he has shown it in OTAs right now. He is really coming on strong. And he's probably going to wind up being one of those receivers that's going to be able to be moved around the field quite a bit. Um, obviously, we've also seen this uh, with um, Curtis Samuel, who honestly looks like he is back. I mean, he's not injured anymore. He looks like he's 100%. And Samuel has been moved around everywhere in OTAs. And this is excellent news if you're a Washington Commanders fan because having Curtis Samuel back 100% being our deadly weapon, this is going to be great for the Commanders. And now you're seeing Jahan Dotson basically coming out there and being what we all are considering another Curtis, uh, not Curtis Samuel, but being another Terry McLaurin. You, you know, we all know Terry McLaurin coming out there and being what we consider a seasoned veteran right from the get go. And of course, Terry McLaurin right now kind of being out of OTAs, holding out for the contract and you know we're all nervous about it there's there have been obviously you know talks of should we trade Terry McLaurin and there's been articles written about the best destinations for Terry McLaurin to be traded to I don't want to hear about it I want Terry McLaurin to sign with the commanders long term I don't want to lose Terry McLaurin because if you can get Terry McLaurin signed long term, you have, you got Jahan Dotson and you got Curtis Samuel healthy. I mean, this offense is going to be unstoppable. And we've also heard some great things about um, Wentz. And and you know, right now things are going so great in OTAs. But we can't buy into the whole OTA thing, right? So, you know, everybody looks like superstars in, in OTAs. So it really comes down to what they do once you actually start seeing them in the regular season. But right now, Jahan Dotson, he certainly looks like he is a seasoned veteran. He is he is calm. He's, he's crisp. 
He is showing you why you drafted him. And I am just, I am amazed. I am, I am happy because we have not historically had very good luck drafting wide receivers. You know, Terry McLaurin, I think, has been, honestly, he's been one of the best wide receivers we have drafted in a long, long time. And now Jahan Dotson, another wide receiver that we have drafted who could turn into it yet another superstar wide receiver. We don't want to get ahead of ourselves, but... I mean, I'm excited of what I'm hearing out of OTAs with Dotson. So now Dotson, McLaurin, Samuel, and, you know, those are only three of our wide receivers that we have right now. I mean, we're loaded. We probably have way too many wide receivers. I feel like we have like 20 wide receivers. We're probably going to wind up cutting some wide receivers that we wish that we could keep. And that seems like that's kind of how it goes. But you know what? Uh, the cream of the crop, you keep, you know, the best of the best is going to rise up to the top. And then, you know, yes, you're going to have some favorite ones that leave, but you want the best to stay on your team. And right now, it seems like the best are, ones are the ones who are showing up in OTAs. So, folks, what do you think? Are you getting excited about Jahan Dotson? Because I sure am. If you are, let me know in the comments section below. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Uh, share me a comment. Uh, share this video as well. And please join me in the next one. Thank you. I will see you later. Hell to the Commanders. Let's go Maniacs.